All right, hello everybody. This is a 2004 Odyssey, and I have this issue right here. This dumb cigarette lighter has come loose, and so it's really hard to charge cell phones and things like that. So uh, that's what this video is going to be about. Hopefully, is how the heck to fix that. I'm just trying this on my own. I've seen a few pictures and watched a couple videos, and maybe this will work. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove these there's one on each side there push clips I think this is what they're called and to get those out I tried with pliers before and I just totally destroyed them and busted them up because they're plastic so I got these these are it's push clip remover plier thing so I'm gonna remove it from the two sides and then go from there just in case you're not sure how to use them, they have these sides that the, the clippers just kind of go in. And then you just kind of work it back and forth. See, they just come out like that. And that was actually real easy. And anyways, you put, put those in a hole, and then you push this thing in, and that's what kind of keeps it in place. See, they come out comes out like that so once it goes in here it keeps these extended so it keeps it in so when I put those back in that's all I'll have to do so I'll remove the other one and we'll go from there okay so now that I got those two side clips taken out I just pulled this off it's a little cover um, I just used it with my hands I just kind of got underneath and wiggled it out so it came out uh, next thing I'm going to do is take out that bolt and that bolt so see you soon okay so I took that one out took that one out now when I try pulling on it um, I don't know if you can see but it's basically pulling on this too so I'm gonna open up that and it looks like I got a screw right there I got to take out and a screw right there so that's what I'll be doing next okay so I got that screw out and that screw out then I was sitting there pulling on it like an idiot and lo and behold I saw these so I'm sure there's one on the other side so I'm gonna take out those and we'll go from there okay so I got those screws off I'm kind of pulling on it and it's coming out but this right here seems to be in the way so probably I'm gonna have to get that off somehow this is the, the cover for the DVD player that we have if you are don't have those you may not even have to worry about this but it looks like right there is getting smashed up into there so I got to get this off somehow and I'm pretty sure I read somewhere you just have to take a screwdriver and kind of pry it off but you gotta be really careful because I've heard of people busting these. So I'm gonna try that and we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure you just gotta pry it open. So I started on this side with this flathead and I just, I, careful not to scratch it up. This was already here before I started, but I just kind of came in. And I just got it as open as much as I could and then I just stuck another screwdriver in it to kind of hold its place and then I went through here and I just heard a little pop and I I think it's slowly getting out so all I can really say is just keep monkeying with it just be really careful not to break it okay got it so it was just what I was saying it was up here I don't even know how to put this dumb thing back on I didn't bring it upside down yeah it was right there and so I just take this and once I once I got it in I just kind of I would take my screwdriver I'd stick it in the hole and just kind of pull it towards me you know just kind of jack jack it back that way and then once it came I just kind of pulled and it popped off so all right next step okay so once I pop that off there is some, there's a screw right there and a screw right there so pretty sure that's gonna be one of the last things I'll just take those screws out and I should be able to pop the whole thing off we will see in a minute all right so once I took those screws out 
um, this was on like that and I was just pulling and it wasn't really moving until I took my screwdriver and I kind of put it in this hole here and I just kind of you know jerked it out that way and same on that one and the same on that one once I did that the top seemed to come loose I just pulled and the whole thing came out and there is the wretched thing and from what I understand is I have to push this back put this over and just kind of screw it on that's what makes it loose is once I get this this piece screwed on to here it'll stay so I think I just need to push that back and just start screwing it and we'll see what happens we'll see if that works lo and behold it worked now it's totally totally tight I just had to had to use both hands but I pushed that in and then I pushed that this way pushed it all the way and then I just started screwing it and you can feel it screw in and kind of get tight so now yay it doesn't work or it doesn't move anymore so now I gotta put everything back together yay I'm gonna make sure this is screwed in really tight because I don't want this happening again because this was a pain in the butt so yeah okay screwed it in really tight thing isn't moving which is good then I just threw this thing on there and I'm gonna put those screws back in right there and right there Okay, so I put it back on and then I put the screw in right there and then I put the screw in right underneath it right there. So I did that side and that side first then I'm going to go over and do that and that. The next thing I'm going to do is just push that stupid piece in there that was so hard to get off it will probably be, yeah, pretty easy to get back on. I just wanted to take my frustrations out on it hit it and yeah it pops straight in so we're good that was easy okay now i'm gonna put the screws back in there there and there also i'm gonna put the screw back in there and then on the other side and then we'll pop this thing back on more to come Okay, screws are back on. I did not do those yet. Or is it that? Because, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess you could do those. Yeah, I'll do those next and then I'll pop this on and then we'll finish it up with the push pins. So, see ya. Alright, so the last part are these. So the way you do it is you stick these this in first and then once it's in, you kind of got to squish those down to get them to fit in the hole but once it's in the hole you just take that stick it in and you're good to go and there we have it we're done so it's not that hard of a job it's just if you're a major contortionist you'll have an easier job oh uh, when I was sticking this on there you want to make sure this goes through that hole and I was able to reach under here with my th my finger and kind of push this up so it would go through the hole but anyways yeah, it's not going anywhere so the main thing is just when you get all this off, make sure you screw this in really tight. I think it's a really dumb design that they did it that way, that you have to screw it in. It's just dumb that it's not, like, I don't know, a snap or something, or some sort of latch. But, so I have a feeling that this will probably be coming out later in the future, but hopefully not anytime soon, because this was annoying. So, hope that helps someone out there, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.